the one to deal or going to deal with mathematics and find limits and continuity. Okay, we have what we call direct substitution, which is very simple and straightforward. Okay, let's take my given an equation of the limit when x approaches 3 into x squared plus 1 all over x squared minus 1. So this is simple and straightforward. We're just going to do what we call direct substitution. So we're going to take this 3 and substitute it where there's x. So it means simply means that where there's x, we simply write 3. So this is going to be equal to this is going to be equal to 3 squared plus 1 all over 3 squared minus 1. Simply because we are replacing or substitution substituting 3 where there's x. So this is 3 and then this is 3. So this is going to give us 9 plus 1 all over 9 minus 1. So our final answer is going to be 10 over 8. 10 over 8 is going to be our final answer. So we're moving to complicated stuff right now. Simplification. Simplification. Let's check for given an equation like limit when h approaches 0 into into what? 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x all over h so when given an equation like this we simplify this top part It's a fraction. So, what we're going to use simply here, we're going to use what we call LCM, which is lowest common multiple. I'm sure this is not the first time you heard about the word common multiple or LCM. So this is what we're going to use here to simplify our top part of our equation. This is a division sign. Okay. So without further waste of time, let's simplify. I would like to start by okay, yes, when each approaches. I would like to start by explaining to you when using a, this, a rule or method that we call lowest common multiple simply first write the numbers or variables on the bottom. Since here I have letters, I will call it variable. First write the variables in this form. Okay, so this is going to be equal to limit of h approaches zero. Simply write this first. The bottom variables. So the bottom variables are going to be x into x plus h. So the top part is going to be simple now. So our top part is simply going to be x minus x plus h all divided by 
all divided by h. This is going to this is the position that this is all going to be divided by this h. I, my marker is not feeling okay today, <laughs> but I will finish what I started. Okay, so this is going to be equal to this is going to be equal to limit when h approaches zero into x minus then we remove the brackets x plus h all over x into x plus h multiplied by one over h so We are done with simplifying our equation. What is left here is to substitute this h approaching 0, meaning that we are going to take this 0 and put it where there's h. So this is going to be equal to x and x will cancel. This, this is positive and this other one is positive. So this is going to be, I'm going to left this zero here, because this h is going to be left, and then we're going to put zero of this h all over, and then x into x plus zero, multiplied by one over zero. When this h will put zero. So this is going to give us one, this one over over what? X multiplied by x is x squared. So this is going to be our final answer. 1 over x squared is going to be our final answer. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.